Allahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to your show in the light of the Quran. Alhamdulillah, I believe we have taken so much light from the Quran, and I ask Allah to help us implement it so that we can see this life in this wonderful light, the divine light that came to us from our Creator. Today's light is about the description of the believers. Allah loves the believers so much, and Allah has prepared for them a lot of dignity and a lot of honor. And because Allah loves them so much, he describes them in the Quran with so, a lot of descriptions, so wonderful descriptions that serve as an encouragement for every Muslim to try to fulfill, to try to meet these descriptions. So inshallah we'll be from those who will abide in the highest ranks of paradise. We will start with the recitation of uh, these number of verses, few verses, which are taken from the Surah of Al-Furqan, Surah Al-Furqan, which is the Surah of the Criterion. The Criterion, because there's a lot of uh, information there that really opens the sight and the eyes of the believers to the truth about how to sail through the ocean of this life. Uh, we'll start with the recitation as usual. Then, inshallah, after this, we'll get to the to delve into the meanings and the light that we can take from this wonderful surah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Wa'ibadu rahman al-lazina yamshuna ala al-ardi hawna وإذا خاطبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما والذين يبيتون لربهم سجدا وقياما والذين يقولون ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم إن عذابها كان غراما إنها ساءت مستقرا ومقاما والذين إذا أنفقوا لم يسرفوا ولم يقتروا وكان بين ذلك قواما والذين لا يدعون مع الله إلها آخر ولا يقتلون النفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ولا يزنون ومن يفعل ذلك يلقى أثاما يضاعف له العذاب يوم القيامة ويخلد فيه مهانا إلا من تاب وآمن وعمل عملا صالحا فأولئك يبدل الله سيئاتهم حسنات وكان الله غفورا رحيما ومن تاب وعمل صالحا فإنه يتوب إلى الله متابا والذين لا يشهدون الزور وإذا مروا باللغو مروا كراما والذين إذا ذكروا بآيات ربهم لم يخروا عليها صما وعميانا والذين يقولون ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما أولئك يجزون الغرفة بما صبروا ويلقون فيها تحية ويلقون فيها تحية وسلاما خالدين فيها حسنت مستقرا ومقاما قل ما يعبأ بكم ربي لولا دعاؤكم فقد كذبتم فسوف يكون لزاما Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. Uh, these wonderful verses that describe the believers in a very precise way, in a very wonderful manner, is so wonderful and it really puts a lot of encouragement in the hearts of the believers. It raises the spirit 
of the believers to worship Allah more, to meet this description, so that inshallah we be entitled to enter paradise, as Allah says right at the end of these verses. Allah first the first description he gives to the believers is that they are the servants of the most merciful. They are the servants of Allah. Imagine this beautiful description. We are the servants. Allah has says they are they are the servants of the most merciful. That shows that He will shower them with mercy. There's a special kind of description for them here. Then he says the fir- he talks about their behavior. He says they walk on earth with humility, with humbleness. This is the description of the belief. They don't walk arrogantly. They look they don't look down upon others. The believers have humbleness. Because they know this life is nothing. It's only a test and I only want to please Allah. This is the this should be the attitude of the believers. So they are the ones who walk with humility. And when the arrogant people or with the ignorant people, when they speak to them or try to insult them, they say to them, all what they say to them is that peace be upon you. We don't need to get involved in what in this evil talk. We don't want to get involved in this nonsense. Peace be upon you. They don't get involved, they don't indulge in these evil speech. Even if someone insults them, they turn away from them, that's fine. They don't return back, they don't return the evil. Because they all what they want to come from themselves is the good behavior, the wonderful character. And this is how we should be. You see how the wisdoms that Allah gives us in the Quran, they are so powerful. Their, their, their potential that they create for us in this world are so amazing and so wonderful. Then Allah describes them as they spend the night. They spend the night prostrating for Allah and standing in worship. Now this is something that has become very rare among the Muslims. We don't stand in night. We don't spend the night standing before Allah, prostrating ourselves for Him. The time of night is so pure and is so wonderful for the heart that we can focus on it so much to an extent that we cannot reach during the day. Because the day we mix with people, we have to pursue our needs and so many things, our responsibilities and our commitments. But at the night, we can be free, our minds can be free and focused on praying and standing before our Creator and supplicating to Him. Then Allah says that they just always supplicate to Allah, saying, Oh Allah, ward off the punishment of the fire. Ward, off, uh, ward it off away from us. Save us from that punishment. Because its punishment is everlasting. Its punish, punishment is severe. And it brings humiliation. And they say, the hellfire is a very evil abode and resting place. We don't want to end, to end there. You see what's on the mind of the believer all the time? It's not getting more wealth, getting more achievements of this world. No. It's about getting more closer to Allah. It's about saving oneself from the hellfire. This is the attitude of the believer. This is what's on their minds, on the minds of the believers all the time, day and night. They, they, they know the purpose of their life. They know their goal. And they are walking, they are marching steadily towards it. Inshallah, this is how we will try to be. These are the wisdoms that Allah has given us. Then uh, Allah describes them as when they spend from their money. They, don't, they are not excessive and they are not miserly. They, they do not squander their money and uh, waste it. But they use it moderately. They buy what they need according to their own needs. They don't go, as I said, they don't go to excess and they, don't do, they do not fall short, so they do not act miserly. They follow the middle course. Then Allah says, and they do not supplicate, they do not call upon other God other than Allah. They only worship Allah alone. This is the most important aspect, as we always say in the Muslim character. And then Allah says, and they do not slaughter people, they do not murder people. Except the ones that Allah prescribed to be killed. And this, is, this has certain regulations which is by the government, the Muslim government, and people who do certain crimes that destroy, that have a lot of destruction in the society. Then Allah says, and they do not fall into fornication. Do you see the beautiful description of the believers? They walk with humility. They don't, do not fall in these evil actions. They're always mindful of Allah and the reality of this world. They, it's a very peaceful life. Wallahi, the, I emphatically, I know for surety that the believers really live in paradise on earth before they get it on the day of judgment. So let's try to live in this paradise. Let's try to please Allah more, be more attached to Allah and Allah will give us more of His help and more of His light 
and more of the strength that we really need. Then Allah says, anyone who falls into these evil actions like associating partners with Allah or killing, murdering people or falling into fornication, Allah says, anyone who does any, these actions, then the punishment, then he has fallen into sin and the punishment will be doubled for him on the day of judgment and he will dwell in this punishment forever with humiliation. Why should we fall into sin and enjoy these fleeting aims, the pleasures of, of this world, then go to the hellfire? Why? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's be patient in this life and then let's get the wonderful blessing, the gardens of Aden that Allah prepared for the believers. So Allah says, these people who fall into these evil actions, into these sins, will dwell forever into paradise, especially, definitely with disbelief. And then Allah says, except for those who repent and then do righteous deeds. Now Allah did not close the door for repentance. It's open. So at any time you recognize the truth, renounce your sins, okay, give them up, and then Allah will help you and support you. So Allah says, anyone who repents and believes and then does righteous deeds, we will forgive them. And Allah will exchange their evil deeds, Allah will remove them, and then Allah will place in, in their place uh, righteous deeds, more credit for them on the Day of Judgment, Allah is forgiving. Then Allah says about them that they do not uh, fall into false testification or false witness. They do not do that. They do not lie. And even if they pass by people who waste their time in idle talk, they do not get involved in that. Because our time is precious as believers. Time is so precious, is more precious than gold. This is because it gets us more closer to Allah if we utilize it right. Then Allah says, and if they uh, hear the, word, the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do not turn deaf ears or blind eyes, they benefit from that. And they say, oh Allah, give us or grant us from our wives and our children, grant us delight of the eye, grant us uh, peace and security and safety and happiness from them and make us guides for the righteous. Make the people be guided by us so that we gain more reward. Allah says these people will get the highest ranks in paradise and they will get a lot of peace and a lot of respect. They will dwell there forever. So this is the description of the believers. This is the wisdom of today. The light will try to live by it. Apply these verses. These are at the end of Surah Al-Furqan. Let's read them in this wonderful light and benefit from them. So we live in this wonderful light. And until we meet next time with another and a new light from the Quran, I leave you in peace. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah, by the Quran.